Oh, the best when you're walking around and uh, somebody says, who do you work for? And you say, Kiwet. Uh, I mean, it's, it's there's a lot of pride in that. Uh, you can just see them, you know, say, really, you know, what? Uh, you work for Kiwet, huh? Because they all know, anybody that knows the, the industry knows that Kiwet's number one. Well, I've heard Kiwet's name mentioned in places you would not necessarily expect other companies' names to be mentioned. Uh, I've read articles where Kiwit Experience Preferred has been mentioned when other companies are looking to hire people, and that says a lot. I'm proud of all the jobs I worked on, you know what I mean? Because I got an opportunity to run work. I've worked around a lot of different uh, general contractors, and, and Kiwit by far was safety with quality. Uh, owner satisfaction. Um, there's not. There's not a better company out there to work for. Our culture at Mid American is very much driven, and in some ways emulates the culture that exists at Kiwi. Um, and uh, I think it's a great compliment to your to your organization. We're very proud of it. I believe we have made progress towards our goal of making our company the best contracting organization on earth. And I'm sure that by working together in the future, as we have in the past, we can continue to grow and to prosper. As we do, we can provide not only the necessities of life, but more of its luxuries for ourselves and our families. At the same time, we will achieve the deep sense of fulfillment that comes to those who do worthwhile things and do them well. We put together a budget, we uh, brainstorm the best idea, the most efficient idea, the cheapest idea, and plan, and we plan it, we schedule it, put together a budget, and then we go crazy trying to beat that budget. Well, I'd like to say that T-Rex met the RTD's expectations, CDOT's expectations, and the public's, but it really didn't. It basically exceeded our expectations. The public expected tremendous disruption, noise, dust, and there was really a tremendous effort made to minimize those things, and it happened. Well, obviously, the first core value is safety, and that's an obligation of every manager and supervisor on any Kiwit job, is to ensure that our employees go home every day the same way or better than they showed up for work that day. And, and uh, you know, safety's just our moral obligation. It's just the right thing to do, send our employees home. And, uh, you know, the second core value would be quality. And uh, again, it's, it's kind of like safety. If you look at it, it's pretty simple. It's just about building work right the first time, taking pride in what we do. We always strive to do things one step better the next phase. You know, a perfect example on this job was the first side we built in 60 days. And, you know, that was ahead of our schedule. But we were pleased with that, but not satisfied. And we, our goal was to build the second phase in 50 days, which we did. Well, first would be integrity. Um, conduct business as if your mother was watching. Um, the second is recognize that we have, we represent not only ourselves, but we represent the company in everything we do. You know, I spent my entire career here and the, I had the fortunate opportunity to be here a few years when Peter Kiewit was still alive. Here's some of the things, that this is on young people getting promoted. And I used to sometimes question it early in my career as I saw older people around, but I can say now there's more opportunity than ever. The company's stronger than ever, and the whole legacy and the thought that Peter Kiewit had, had put forth years ago and some of the things, what a wise man he was, but the opportunity is better and actually now than it's ever been. After Katrina hit, they had to, to build some new pump stations there and a new wall to block the water from coming in. And they looked for contractors to come down on a very accelerated basis and build these three pump stations. And Kiewit was selected to do the Orleans Avenue Canal. That had to be built in about 45 days. And what, was, what, what it really sticks in my mind is important there is once parts of our company heard that we were going to be part of an emergency job like that, we started getting phone calls. 
We got phone calls from, from district managers that volunteered their equipment and their people. We had craftsmen call and say, I'd like to come down and be part of that special event. Uh, I'll come down and I'll live in a trailer for three or four weeks if it helps me, helps you, uh, and Key would achieve the goals. I'll help you drive the pile, I'll help you pound the nails. And, and I think that's what is just so Keywood. We're, we're a big company, but we're connected in a small way. Uh, we know each other, you know, we have friends across the company, we have colleagues across the company, and when Keywood needs to tackle something, we got people are ready to jump in and help. Be a team builder. Constantly bring people of, of all degrees on your team. I mean, people that are joining our company mid-career, late career, or very early in your career, bring them all on your team. Learn how to lead, to get them pulling in the same direction, learn how to make everything a positive experience, learn how to make it fun. It's about that employee going out in the field every day looking and wanting to coach and mentor, look for these behaviors. Our craft employees say, no, let me show you, let me teach you. That comes from here, from the heart. Whether it be the Miami runway, or uh, Tampa I-4, or uh, Atlanta 8R runway, or here. We have been a young team of people who all have a common goal, and that is what stands out. We all want to work safe, uh, build a quality product for the owner, beat our schedule, and, and make Kiwit more money. And I think about the time our organization uh, may get to the point that we're a little bit flatlined. Uh, somebody within the organization comes up with a new concept, a new initiative, and we continue to prosper and get better all the time. I think Kiwit has a good reputation for 125 years. It's a company that exists for 125 years. I think it's because of their organization, the way they take care of their people, the way they plan their jobs. Uh, quoi, personnellement, it's uh, like a family. I think not only do we do our corporate and district training, we do on-the-job training, which is the people you work with. You, you work with the guy who's been with the company for 16, 18 years, and you really gotta, you really gotta immerse yourself in what they know and train you for the next position. I may not be doing this for the next year. You never know. I might. Six months from now, I may be in the estimating office. Now I got to learn how to estimate, so I'm going to have to soak it up from a lead estimator. And the next project, I might be a project engineer. So you're, you're constantly developing, you're constantly being groomed. We have lots of seasoned folks, experienced people, superintendents, project managers, and others that really know how to build things. Think people have been with us a long time. But at the same time, we have a wonderful bunch of young people. They might be that young engineer with one month on the job, or maybe somebody with two or three years of experience. And the mix between the enthusiasm and the knowledge of some of the young people combined with that experience of those older folks who had built up is a powerful, powerful thing. It's a behind the scenes type of business. You know, you go on and you turn on the water or you flip a light switch and you don't know what's behind that. But what's behind that are Kiwit people and uh, communities building things that are for the betterment of the entire society that lives in that area. At the end of the day, what we leave behind as far as the finished product to our owners is really our legacy. Um, I believe in terms of training, when we hire people, uh, we don't hire for this particular project, we hire for a career. The fact that we, that we self-perform the majority of our work and we, we do what I love to do and that's build and uh, I can actually get out there and get dirty and, and uh, see this thing grow from uh, just a spot of ground to a structure that's going to be operating here for the next 30 years is uh, it's what I do and what I love and Kiwit uh, provides the best opportunities that I know of to, to do that. Having strong leadership and good input from other districts that have 
varied experiences, uh, you can take uh, relatively inexperienced people and by following through with the systems and planning and having a good estimate to begin with, you can build a successful project. I couldn't ask for any more opportunity with the company since I've been here. Everything I've asked for, any, uh, any ambitions I've shown has given me as much opportunity as I want. And seems like sky's the limit with Kiewit. If you show the ambition and the drive, they'll give you the opportunity and I've seen that as far as I've been with the company. things I get to do. I mean, look at look at where we get to work and, and the opportunities I've given. My first structure superintendent position, I've been in charge of three structures now on this job that I'm running and I've got guys working for me and it's being taken from the paper and it's being built right in front of me and it, it's awesome. But like here, it's a smaller camp. It's, it's all friend. We work together. Uh, it's it's like a hockey team, you know. It's uh, you, you see the same people every day. It's uh, it's it's some worker, but the more you stay in the camp, it's all friend, you know. And it's easier to work in the camp than at town because everybody working at the same place. You stay 24 hours with the same people. You go in the washroom with the same people, and you can talk with the guys just beside you about family, about. Uh, Anything else except the job, by the time you brush your teeth, you know? And that's why I prefer working in the camp. There's no traffic, and <laughs> it's easier to come at work. I think it's awesome that Omaha and Kiewit allows companies and districts to continue to pursue their own markets and, and adapt to their own niche we can continue to, to do that will allow us to move into new areas of work. Well, Kiwit's got an, uh, an amazing business model by uh, grooming uh, young engineers into becoming uh, estimators, uh, field engineers, planners, cost controllers, project managers, uh, and then providing them with a stock uh, ownership program, employee ownership program, really uh, is to me uh, the recipe for success uh, in the next uh, decades. Once you become a stockholder and you become a vested member in the, in the company, you look at things a completely different way than if you're just an employee, which is what I was used from or used to in Denmark. And that was really refreshing to see when you came into Kiwi, that here you have an opportunity to, to prove yourself and better yourself and the company at the same time. And you don't see that in many other companies. Um, I think people, even you hear them in the office, will make a decision, well, I'm part owner of the company. I'm not going to spend that kind of money. I wouldn't do it at my house. The jobs have changed, the people have changed, but uh, uh, what it takes to be successful uh, in the business has not changed. And the only difference that makes us, makes us different from the other contractors are the people we have that we hire, that we train, develop, and do the work. We don't need the fancy signature bridge. We don't have to have that next power job. We don't have to have that next fancy office building to, to build a resume. Um, and I think that's been a, been a hallmark of us over the years that we say, hey, we're, we want to go build a project because we, wanna, we have to be true to our shareholders and make money. And, and we want to make sure it's a project we can perform well. Our reputation is always a fragile thing. One of the best disciplines we have in the company is that we don't have the Kiwit team with experienced Kiwit people to go lead a project and to make sure we've got the right people to build it, uh, we'll, we'll back away. And we've done that and, and our senior management team is very focused on that. So there's no such thing as a have to have project. As I reflect on uh, my career, which is now nearing its end after almost 40 years, I'm very proud of, of the successes that the company has achieved over that period of time and the growth that it's experienced. But I also can't help but reflect on the future and the opportunity for the future of our employees of all ages, particularly though the young people, the, the next generation of leadership and the opportunities they have to take this company to even greater heights.